Hey there, sorry for the informal dressing as usual. I want to tell you that it would get better, uh, but I probably won't because, you know, um, I like hot places um, and, you know, I'll spend a couple of months in Thailand soon and that would be even worse because um, it's also, it's not only hot there, but it's also like uh, moist, you know, you sweat a lot more. Um, so yeah, you know, at best I'll wear like a short uh, button shirt, uh, but we'll see. Anyway, um, as you've seen by the title of the video, um, I want to have a, a moment, kind of like a, a real moment with you guys, um, you know, you the, the viewer. And the topic is... Um, how I realized that I kind of fucked up a bit in the last few, maybe two, three months um, since I've kind of been more back in action. I forgot about something big, uh, something that was a milestone or even a, an essential part of, of me. And that thing was uncompromising goal setting. Basically, setting goals not based on what's comfortable what would be realistic what would be nice but like living your life uh from a place of of striving towards amazing things for yourself not just like this not like just things that sound nice and the reason for that is i've been striving for nice uh for the last few months with what I've been doing recently, you know, the whole uh, passive income thing. And it's actually been going really well because in the month and the bit that I started doing it, I've already made a couple hundred dollars, which is, you know, for someone who's never done it before, uh, I guess that's pretty damn good, uh, especially since it's, it keeps going up. But, but, but still, I wasn't like more satisfied. I wasn't like more happy, more fulfilled. I was like, okay, that's nice. Okay, cool. Uh, but I didn't feel it, you know, in the loins. I didn't feel the the satisfaction yet. You know, you you feel good making sales. That's awesome. But I didn't feel like, whoa, like I'm every day I'm working and towards my dream. Like I would feel good when good stuff happened. Like I would get good results. But I would not feel good uh, unless good things happened. So I did not, I was not like so, in, you know, enthusiastic, so full, filled with what I was doing that I enjoyed every moment of it, that I was growing spiritually and, you know, internally. It was like, okay, cool, let's go through the motions, let's make it happen. You know, I deserve this because I'm a successful person, so I deserve, uh, you know, making this happen. I've done much better things than this, much harder things. Uh, so, yeah, I deserve it, so let's just do it, you know. <laughs> like, imagine someone who's been, like, in the gym for, like, 10 years and built, like, a, a big, you know, muscle mass and then... Uh, some guy's like, hey, uh, you want to try yoga? And he's like, yeah, sure, you know, I'm, I'm super fit, blah, blah, I already earned it. I can do yoga. It's, you know, it's my, it's my birthright now, like, because I have it, you know. And then he, he goes to do yoga. He's like, okay, it's a bit harder than I thought. <laughs> so he starts stretching and he's like, okay, maybe it's kind of different shit. Um, but then because you're already tasted a lot of success, you're not really... It's harder to get yourself hungry because you you expect it to happen now. You kind of take it a bit for granted, which is fucked up, I know. Uh, but that's the way it is, you know. It is what it is. So, with me, I had that realization today while listening again to my favorite book of all time, uh, The 10X Rule by Grant Cardone, the book that changed my life the most out of any book. Uh, another book that changed my life almost as much was The Slight Edge. Uh, it helped me go from like, you know, I was into self-development, but I was really, really um, suffering because I didn't know how to actually become consistent and start improving my life daily. And this book, The Slight Edge, really taught me all the philosophy I know today of building success gradually and, ha and habits and good lifestyles. But uh, the 10x rule is what it takes to go from like really nice, you know, from like uh, a cool level to like, really really high level 
so that's where like the major transformation was for me and I think there are kids following me by the way so <laughs> so what a what a oh sorry it's so confusing um, so where it gets really cool right now with what I'm going through is how I basically uh, had the realization today where I realized like hey I'm not really up to par with my goals I'm not really where I want to be right now I'm kind of like I'm dealing around you know I'm moving I am taking action and I am seeing results but what will make you happy in life is not the results it's kind of like the path that you go to actually get there and if you go through a path where you don't really challenge yourself like for example imagine someone's like uh, a, a super good at something and then he he uh, you know you let him improve at something that he's already kind of good at uh, it won't feel good to him if, if he's not really putting in the effort because he's already done it in the past so it kind of feels the same and so that's what it was for me like I knew I could I knew I could like deep down I could be at like a 10 times higher level and I just wasn't doing it so it felt it felt really bad uh, about it and basically the the change is that I wrote down my goals again like I I basically decided to change my um, my entire viewpoint again uh, and this you know go back to being really based on setting 10x goals you know like really really high goals that just by writing them down you get motivated and again I kind of forgot that because like you know I just want to get my result I just want to get the you know the the, the five ten thousand dollars a month uh, passively to be happy about that and and nothing else you know and, and the thing is it didn't motivate me like when things went up and down like it stopped motivating me completely uh, and that's where I realized like something's wrong something not right because the whole point of having a big goal is that the goal uh, whether it's good or bad the goal kind of pushes you forward always so you know you can always go back just think of the goal and bam you're just you're filled with energy again uh, so if your goal right now doesn't make you feel like that when you think about it when you write it down or if you don't have the energy or the uh, discipline to write down your goals every day it just means they're not big enough that they're not interesting enough for you to actually sit down and write them and think about them because think about it like let's say you were dating like a supermodel or a supermodel guy I don't know like a super beautiful amazing sexy amazing incredible person or you know as Trump would say like a tremendous person um, you would like to think about that person right like you would love to you know sit down for like a minute and fantasize about that person right like how would they look naked how would it be to be next to them to hug them to you know what with them uh, but let's say uh, it's your goals you know and you you don't even want to sit down for like a minute or two and write them fantasize about them well it means they're not that good it means they're not that interesting for you so uh, you really should consider changing either entirely the goal or just making them a lot bigger so that they're more rewarding like maybe for you uh, right now jumping from uh, making like 2,000 a month as a, an employee to making like 3,000 a month as a businessman a business person an entrepreneur that's not really a cool goal but maybe jumping from 2,000 as an employee to like 30,000 as a business person that's like incredible for you or maybe you know just like uh, having a bit more money isn't really rewarding but traveling the world and having a lot the money that's rewarding so so find what makes you tick find what makes you like really really happy about it and use it to kind of fuel yourself forward and again if your goals when you think about them you don't get excited they're the wrong goals just sit down think and it's okay just sit down think again until you find something and don't try some something realistic this is a goal it's it's a fantasy you know it's not about realistic land it's about what makes you tick what makes you feel good inside uh, and it can use that to push you forward so it doesn't even matter if you reach the goal or not you just you'll have the energy to move forward which is what really matters so that's pretty much the the lesson I've had today uh, as I've said it's a pretty big lesson um, if you haven't downloaded my ebook yet now is a really good time to do it because it's really 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 good uh, just because it's free doesn't mean it's not priceless you can get it from my website if you haven't subscribed yet please do and you know if you got this far then comment and let me know what you think so talk soon and uh, glad to share my experiences with you